Hi, welcome back. Today we will look into YOLO V8 training. Um, I'm doing this to make a, a low resolution model for Raspberry Pi, but it could be um, for any resolution, for any purpose. And if you, um, the requirement is that you need to have a GPU. So I have a NVIDIA um, 2080. So let's get started. So let's first clone this repo, git clone, um, which I already have it checked out because it's something I made. So you just need to type the git clone and clone the repository and go into yolo v8 um, and Let's look at the readme file for the Windows GPU. Uh, this is for the Windows, but I'm sure it'll work for um, Linux as well. It, but this is the very specific settings that I tested with. So let's create the Conda environment first. gonna take some time um, to create the environment and install it if it's taking too long I will fast forward it but basically you need, just need to copy and paste those lines and then say yes to everything um, hopefully we'll create the environment Yes. All good. Then I'm gonna. Oh, a bit hard to see. Activate the environment. And install. Yolo V8. So Yolo V8, it will install with the CPU version of Torch. So when every, I mean, it installed the Torch vision and Torch and stuff like that. But we want to install a GPU version. So this is the command to do it. Um, okay, so now it's time to install the GPU version of CUDA, no, GPU version of PyTorch. Okay, and then TensorFlow. This on, is only for the TF Lite conversion, um, so it's not essential for training. But the inference code does use um, TensorFlow, so I'll just install it. Okay, so all the libraries are installed. So let's um, have a look at the training code, actually. So if you look at the folder, there's a file called train.py. Um, at the moment, it's default to the YOLO V8 Nano, but you can change it if you want. But for, the, for my experiment, it's going to be V8 Nano. And then um, I'm setting the image size to 320 and then batch size to 128. Um, I have only eight gigabytes of memory. So if I set more than this, it gets really, really slow. And also apparently if you set the batch size as minus one, then it 
the YOLO V8 um, tried to find the optimal batch size, but that somehow didn't work for me, so I have to manually find this number. Um, and yeah, so if we do Python friend of pi. So when it runs, the very first thing it does is actually um, it will try to download the data set, um, which I already did. So basically it downloads the data set automatically and it's about, it's more than 20 gigabytes. So if you run it for the very first time and then downloading the data set, it's going to take a fairly long time. It took more than an hour to download and uncompress. So once that's all done automatically, and then once that is done, then you will have a, a folder called data set and have this um, Coco data set downloaded automatically and uncompressed. Um, so at the moment, I'm just using this um, Coco data set and you can prepare your own data set, but that's for another time. Um, yeah, so once that downloading is done, it um, first create the cache of this data set and then every time when it runs it, it seems to verify it. but. Um, so that's what it's done. So it's doing like check, and then hopefully we'll see um, the training epoch starts. So it does take some time. Um, Is scanning the training and validation set um, at the moment since it's a very huge data set it takes some time to just load it it seems Okay, finally it's running, so it's showing the epoch, the first epoch, how much GPU memory you use. Um, yeah, and so it, it was taking about five minutes to do one epoch. So it's gonna save the weight once it once it starts training it's gonna create a folder called runs and then create a folder called train so this is just created and then it creates um, useful information about the data set um, and the weight's gonna be saved under here. So now we just need to wait. And yeah, that's how you train it. So I'm gonna just stop it for now because I already have trained something. Um, I rename the folder called train custom 320 um, so we can actually have a look um, cd run
so all the training is um, logged like with TensorBoard and then it shows you the progress of how well the training goes so hopefully it is very slow today I don't know <laughs> Uh, maybe it's because of I just create an environment and then running this for the first time on this environment. So, so yep. So you can look at like training laws and stuff like this. I mean, this one I stopped that training after 190 epoch. I was training for 300 but I stopped it because I had to do something else but you can continue training from the where it's left off but you can specify the, um, the instead of um, the YAML name you can specify the whatever the like PT um, like if you train and it, it for every epoch it's gonna save like the last one and the best one and then you can specify how often you save those things so uh, yeah and that's how you do the training thank you for watching